is five, we're live. Welcome to Frankly Speaking, where truth is our mission, reality our realm, said as we see it, and frankly as well. And frankly, Paul's not here. He's out there doing stuff for the senior citizens of Greater Lynn. Okay, thank and you, Paul. Paul, we applaud you for being a noble fellow, and we're looking right. to have you back. We had a little hiatus. Right. Uh, all yeah. of you have a nice fourth? Yeah, it was very, very nice. good. Very, very nice. Yes. So, I got to do a little promotion for me, namely. Uh, oh, first of all, no, before I do that, congratulations to Dave Friley uh, and Michaela. They're out in Portland, Oregon now because they won two awards. It's the Oscar of... Uh, Cable you know, TV. Of cable yeah. TV, yeah. yeah. Wow. So they're out there. Uh, yeah, that's wonderful. They, I'm very happy for David. He's a very yeah, nice well, guy. They're great kids, and I yep. hope that they're dodging uh, Antifa, right. you know, because the folks out there are a little crazy in Portland, Oregon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you've yeah, noticed yeah. lately. <laughs> so I don't know whether we have anything to put up there. Uh, there it is. Uh, Joe Spina is now officially with MS News Sports. Over the top, our second uh, podcast, so you can listen to it by going to that website and clicking in over the top, and if they don't see the graphic, they just go to the search engine. And by the way, notice it on Twitter, and Malcolm, you said it's on Facebook now, yep. too? Yeah, you can, you, can, uh, you can put it on Facebook also. You can share it really? on Facebook. Because I had listened to the podcast, thought it was good, and I hit the share, and it went right to Facebook. Huh, thanks so for what it stuff. does is it gives you I more wanna, viewership. By the way, folks, this is, this is uh, you know, how can you watch us, frankly speaking, on YouTube? Because we upgraded it to it. Now, you did it a different way than I did it, so I'm going to mention how I do it, and then others can see it. So we just launched a YouTube channel. You Be sure to subscribe. You have to subscribe to it. Is that right. correct? You, you, can, so you subscribe to it, and whenever you go on YouTube, you have a, like a section that says subscriptions. You hit that, and all your subscriptions will come up. Also, you have what they, is like a little bell. You click on that, and that's for notifications. Whenever there's a new, uh, frankly, frankly speaking, speaking, put on, you'll get a notification. And it's also archived. Is it right. not? They can yes, watch them is. all uh, from yeah. way back when. Mm, right. Interestingly, folks, and I want to thank you because we got a tremendous response, even though people didn't yeah. know about it. Our upkeep on hits and viewerships went substantially up. I mean, yeah. off the charts. Really? On YouTube, yeah. on YouTube and yep. Facebook, right? It really did. Yeah. Do we have the other graphic, uh, Pedro, the one that uh, I created? Now watch, frankly speaking. I don't know if you have it. Uh, if you don't, that's okay, too. There, no, that's not the one, but that's all right. We'll just leave it at that. Um, next, I want to go to the poll, right off the get-go. And if we can put the poll up there, it's U.S. Census. And Avram, you spoke about this off-camera before you even knew I had this question. Should the census include a citizenship question? There should be a question there. It's okay to be stupid, but let's not abuse the privilege. I mean, my <laughs> God, what is the point of a census is to know how many people, citizens, are here in the first place and nothing else. Yeah. But wasn't that always the way? I mean, yeah. it was the Obama administration they, that it came off. They took it off. Right. right. But and up until then, it, didn't they always ask that now, question? Now what they're doing is they're trying to fight it so that they don't want it on there because they want the illegals to have the right to vote without declaring that they're citizens. Here, here and, Obama, and President Trump is going to have an executive order by the end of this week. Yeah, hopefully. To put it, it will be. We'll well, here and, again, we have a situation put where it on the census. we're supposed to have a court that's dominated by Republicans, but Roberts writes this convoluted decision saying that it's all right for him to do it, but he's going to kick it back to the district court, which doesn't make any sense to the appellate court. doesn't make any sense at all. But I think he's just trying to be uh, somebody that's trying to put himself in the middle and be uh, less political. I don't know what he's trying to do. Well, but, I want to ask this, because I'm not, you, you brought the court, and you right. brought Robert. The court's the most important thing. That, uh, Every the, time I thing. see a federal judge has right. blocked something that Trump wanted to do, whether it's build a wall or right. fund humanitarian or whatever, it's always been blocked and overruled by a judge appointed by Obama right. in every yeah. single instance. Have you noticed that? Yep. Why should that be so surprising? Well, it shouldn't be that way. It's surprising because the judiciary is supposed to be apolitical. Is that my correct? Basically, Obama wanted yeah. to stack the but Supreme it, uh, Court. It, but the point being is it's not. Right. Yeah. No, it's, it's, it's a Republican and Democratic court. So it's very important, right. for example, who the president becomes on who he appoints to the judiciary. The, Te most important thing, yeah. the most important thing about the presidential elections is the Supreme Court nominations. 
It's, it's the most Not just the Supreme Court, Ralph, the entire judiciary, for example. Right. I understand that, is, is this correct, Malcolm, or any of you out there, that Trump has appointed more judges to the right. federal bench than a, at this point in his right. presidency? Yes. He, will, yes. he will have appointed, by the end of his term, 30% of all the federal judges, every yes. one of them. And yes. that's going to be long-lasting. Right. Even, even in the Ninth Circuit, which is which is the crazy leftist, he's, he's, he's now, he's appointed the... 14th, and he will soon appoint the 15th, and soon he will appoint the 16th, and it's out of 20, it is 29 members of that Ninth Circuit. That's that leftist crazy. So the group. question becomes, that's really why people like George Soros right. and all the folks that are quote-unquote deep state, or the lovers of society, pulling the strings, are so apoplectic. Is that they, the word? They, 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 because this is the whole thing of the election. It's all, it's all about it's the judiciary. All about the judiciary. Because right. if Roe versus Wade gets right. overturned, right. it's the judiciary right. that does that, correct? Yep. Basically, yes. And the same thing with the immigration question. Right. Now, it's basically been thrown to the Supreme Court. Right. They're the ones so, that are going to right. define the laws. Right. Well, they shouldn't be. Right. They should be interpreting the law, right? right? But the way, it is not, the way it is now, it should be, it should be a conservative court. But Bush appoint, appointed Roberts, and Roberts is not voting conservative all the time. Well, he has and he hasn't. He's and decided to become the swing vote. Well, and, and Kavanaugh also, in two minor decisions also, he's not been very conservative. But both Kavanaugh and Gorsuch clerked for Kennedy, and Kennedy yeah, right. had recommended both of them That's to what, start with. I'm and he was the swing vote in the first case. We need, well, you we, you got to remember also that these people are lifetime appointments. Uh-huh. You know, they're not going up for re-election, so they can... They can Flip flop all they want. Right. Remember Suda? Yeah. Right. We need two more. We need two more conservatives on the court. And Ginsburg is in her eighties. I don't know if she'll make it till the end of next year. Not that I wish any harm to her. And also, what, what's the other one that's in her eighties uh, besides uh, Ginsburg? Uh, I forget. W one of the ones that one of the liberals is also in his eighties. Bayer. Uh, no. Bayer. No. He seems to be the older of them. He, he might, he oh, might so be the one. 781 780 so Supreme Court, what do you think? So, let's get back to that question. Should the census include a citizenship question? It's up to you folks to make that decision. And let's get to last week's poll, if we have it, the results of last. And that happened to be, the poll was, do you favor a ban of flavored, flavored nicotine, nicotine and tobacco? And they said no. No. You know, they want it to be sold, uh, right. and that's kind of a libertarian streak, isn't it? Well, the, th the thing is, is you, it, it should be left up to the store owners to enforce the law. They know that you, you, you cannot buy these products unless you're 21 years of age, and if they decide they're, go they're going to sell it to someone under 21, pull their license to operate. Malcolm, I will guarantee you that when you're 18 years old, you look a little older than the other guys. Then you went into the package store, and you got the beer for the boys, you know. That's been happening for every, forever. You uh, went, you hesitated on, uh, uh, on the libertarian streak. Uh, what do you think about uh, flavored nicotine smoking or whatever? I think it's, the, it's so unimportant to even talk about. That's a great point, isn't it? But I mean, politicians talk about unimportant things. The yeah. point, the, the, here's the most important thing is, why does have a non-elected board have the power to do that? That's a great and point. And how much power do they have? Can they, ban, can they ban candy bars, which they want to do? Can they ban soda? Apparently they can. We have, we have non-elected boards in this city and in other cities telling us what to do, banning legal substances. That's a legal substance, and they're banning it. So you're talking about the Board of Health, of which is three people right, appointed, three people, right. bureaucrats. How much power do they have? I haven't checked the statute on it. but I'm You know what's even more unbelievable is when these pot shops first opened up for the first two weeks, that's how you heard about it every day in the news. Now it's as though there's nothing there. By the way, I've been driving by that spot next to Crowley's uh, Linway yeah, Bowling yeah. Alley. Yeah. I never see, I never see a there. car there. No, I never no, see no. any business happening at all. I Are they making not, any money? I was by there four times one day. Never and saw what? anyone near there. Now you said that was happening. I told you, a guy in Colorado invested a quarter of a million dollars. He got back $50,000. <laughs> he, he got that back. The thing <laughs> is, is the people are getting better marijuana on the black market. And That's always going to be the case. And now they want to put another one up at the, uh, uh, the car dealership. Well, yeah. they're predicating that the city was going to receive all types of uh, fun money from it they'll, and it didn't happen. They'll get nothing. No. Frankly, Joe. Frankly, Joe. And this isn't consistent with the point that we're trying to make, that Lynn has a lot of assets that other communities don't. We, have, we better start featuring them. 
as you pointed yep. out. Right. You know, we have people who don't know how to merchandise. I the asked city. a few people the last two weeks about the golf course. No one even knew we had one. Exactly, I and, and, a, really? and a wonderful uh, golf course uh, at that. Uh, again, okay. and I believe they said just went out to bid. I'm going to get to Frankly Joe. Perched upon a mighty rock, a tower rests to scan the stars and focus on the planet Mars. In cities and in neighboring towns, no towering structure can be found so profound from which one can see a city bordered by the sea or infinity on a starry night where young and old do delight at such a wondrous sight. Wow. You know, High Rock Tower is a wondrous thing. A city that allows its citizenry and people, yep. tourists, can go there for free now. I don't like the word free because someone's paying for it. And you go up there and take a look at the stars. It's well, amazing. May I ask one telescope. very stupid question? You may. Where the hell is it? On High Rock Tower. Do you ever see the picture yeah. of it? Where is it? In Lynn. But where in Lynn? Up in the Highlands. Where? Forget about it. I know okay. what you're trying to say. <laughs> you're right. It isn't being advertised and yeah. merchandised. I'm, I'm, I'm not exactly being funny. Right. I'm telling you, so I have no idea where the hell the place street. is. You don't know yeah. where it is. You don't know about the golf course. And this is what we're trying to tell yeah. people here. Stop featuring your city. Stop talking and bragging no, about it. When, the when I was a kid, city. I used to go up the High Rock Tower all the time because you know, of a beautiful panoramic view of the Boston skyline. No question. I'm from up there. You can yeah. see the ocean. Every that day. looks like in the film Vertigo with James uh, Stewart and uh, Vertigo. Yeah, oh, where not, she fell off yeah. the tower. Isn't that the one where they went up with the at, at, at Mount Rushmore? Where the no, that's no north by northwest. Oh, that was a good one too. They, they were all pretty good. They were all the thing great. is, High Rock Tower is the best possible location to watch the night before the fourth fireworks. fireworks. But we still haven't told me where. The he hell, doesn't know where. He doesn't know where, how to get there. Where the hell is it? You know, we. You know, he's got a point there. Well, there should be signs yeah, there, pointing and, to it, right? Yeah, there, there should be. And by the way, our Rover reporter came up with a. What did she come up with? I think we have seen. I forgot what she came up with. Must not have been all that important. Exactly. <laughs> My point in question. Um, anyway, the mayor was at the U.S. conference, and these are Lynn Bits. This is a new feature I have called Lynn Bits. You like that one? Uh, the U.S. Conference of Mayors recognized, listen to this one, recognized Lynn as one of the most livable cities in America. Now, does that shock you? Uh, yes, it does. Yeah, and you? It, it, it shocks me. What's I, I think it's a fabrication. I'm going to fall off my chair. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. I think it's a fabrication. I don't want to go negative, but we've had some instances the last few nights around here. And, uh, uh, with the number of shootings and, yeah. uh, and knifing drive-bys. And really? Oh, right. yeah. 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 I happen to think Lynn is a pretty livable city overall with, the, with his watts. Uh, I chose to come back. It's my comfort zone. You know, I feel... Well, yeah, well, I, was I, born, I was born in Lynn, raised in Lynn, I'll die in Lynn. When, God forbid. Uh, when you're familiar with a place, it never seems dangerous or bad. That's very true. That's very true. Very, very, very true. true. Yeah. Profound. See, these are profound statements. For, these are the sages. They're not the sages for no reason. Oh, I can remember as a kid. I used to walk all through the Highlands. This and that. I wouldn't dare do it now. Well, times have changed. As a matter of fact, from my understanding, local 201 rejected the tentative agreement with General Electric, yep. whatever that means, and since you're a former GE employee and a and union I, steward or whatever. I was also walked the picket line 50 years ago. And? In the longest strike in the history of the General Electric Company, a strike of 1969. So you speak from authority. And from what I have heard, the contract was rejected nationwide, and they're getting ready to go out on strike. Let me make, make, make a point, and then you get into it. So even though Lynn rejected it, 201 rejected. That Cincinnati also rejected. It has to go, it's like a, a vote, like the it, electoral it's a block college, votes. right? Blocked votes. Yeah. I'm sorry? General Electric was one of the first companies, along with Sears, on the big board stock exchange. Right, they're not on the uh, what down industrial. Happened, what happened is they started buying out company after company after company that they did not know how to integrate into the rest of the company. Yep. They bought things that, that they had no idea about. When you're in the shoe business and you want to expand, you buy another shoe company. You, well, you, you, you is, don't is buy a general, restaurant. General Electric decided, well, why don't we get into television? And, and into health care. Yeah. They got into health care? Yeah. Oh, yeah, they have their own insurance. Did they? Right. Yeah. I didn't know that. I, I just hope And that everything they, turned out to be terrible. Right. I hope these guys don't lose their jobs because what if, what if the hel helicopter, the, 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 gov the contracts they have with the government with the helicopters? Yeah, the unfortunate their, part what if is. they lose is, their contracts? It, it, some of them may lose their job, but they're a shadow of the company they used to be. Mm -hmm. Right now, 
But there why is that the case now? How come? The biggest embarrassment is they took them off the big board. Yeah. They used to be part of the Dow Industrial. Yeah, no more. Well, thing, wait a second. It's because of people when like Jeff Welch, Imo When Jack Welch was company. the CEO, he was considered, you know, he was like a celebrity, wasn't he? Jack Welch was the guy that started all their trouble. He was buying company after so company. So you're saying the company. genesis was him? Absolutely. He started it all. He said, yeah. we have this that's doing very well. Let's start buying everything else. And it never worked. So... What was it? You, you don't hear about him at all anymore. And he inherited, he inherited a mess. Is that yeah, what exactly. And the thing is, is, back years ago, that's why they called him Neutron Jack. Because Jack Walsh would walk into a building, the people would come out, the building would be still there. You know, it's interesting because when I was playing around in the stock market, General Electric was pretty flat. Yeah. It stayed flat for a long time. No it was kidding. around 30, right? And then it, then it tanked. It, yeah. I guess it tanked. So, my, you know, you mentioned that they may lose their job. Why would, I mean. Well, well what if the, they lose their contracts? I don't know what, how the contracts are I don't are think worded. they, no, they, would, they wouldn't I lose the contract. If they're out long enough, then they, they need the those thing helicopters. That troubles me. Mm -hmm. It isn't as if they're making nickels and dimes down there. They're making over 30 bucks an hour. Yeah. Well, that's uh, a lot of that is uh, you're, you're factoring in benefits also. No, I well, think they're, they're according to the report, I don't know how accurate it is. They're saying the average salary is thirty-one dollars an hour, that's, right? What sixty-two thousand a year? I, 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 I no. don't, I don't no. think that's it's, right. It's no. two forty a day on yeah. an eight-hour shift well, with no okay. overtime. Okay, listen, I don't really know for sure. So that's about it, sixty that, grand a year. That, you're that right. Sixty right. grand a year. Yeah. So. You're right about that. I mean, it isn't like poverty. No. You know? it's, not, no, it's not really great uh, by today's standards. Well, in the 37 years that I worked for them, I was never really in poverty. I mean, I had a good job, mm -hmm. good benefits, a good retirement plan, thank God. And that doesn't exist anymore? Oh, I, right. I still get my But I'm pension. talking about it, it's not that way no, anymore? No, they don't have it anymore. I think their you, problem is, is the health care going back. It always comes back to the health care. Well, why, why, no, but wait more and more Let's talk about that. Is why problem. is health care the big issue? Isn't Obamacare the genesis of the destruction of health care? That's right. Yep. Obamacare has yep. a lot to do with it. Okay. Absolutely. And, that, and, and we're talking about municipalities right. are yeah. facing yeah. the yeah. same problem. Right. They thought they'd get off the yeah. hook because right. they could offload everything right. to the federal government, right? right? Right. A lot of the reason why General Electric went self-insured is because regular insurance companies were, were told by the federal government, you must provide certain procedures Which for they, females, well, like mammograms and so forth. And, and also Electric, sex changes, by and, the way. And, and, and that General true? Electric found out that if they went self-insured, they didn't have to provide that. That's why they went self-insured, okay. to save money. Yeah. Well, but, but you know what they did, which really caused them, the real screw-up was when they started building x-ray machines and uh, mammograms. Yeah. Okay, it never went well. And they always had problems, and they ever left. It, that put them in the toilet. Thank you, Jack Welch. You don't hear about Jack Welch and, anymore, do you? No, I don't. Okay, thank you. Right. See, no, yet, see, today you can't go, say we were young men, 24 years old, and we had to go buy health insurance. We're all independent contractors. How do you go buy health insurance without going through all this Ob Obamacare stuff and, uh, uh, and, and the regulations on the insurance? We can't buy an a la carte plan. You have to go we through can't. what they call the mass market. Right. We, but let me ask you this. Isn't that also, getting back to what we talked about earlier, the Supreme Court and the court system, aren't they about to try to say it's unconstitutional? Isn't Obamacare on its way out the window as being unconstitutional? Isn't that what that's, that's what I've heard? A lower that's court judge ruled it's unconstitutional. It's working its way to the Supreme Court again. And if they rule it's unconstitutional, it was, then what happens then? Uh, then, then a lot, a lot of people are not going to have insurance. Uh, They're not going to have you it. You see, that's going to be the well, downside of it because it's not going to be a lot of people. It's going to be an amazing amount of people. Right. They won't have insurance. They'll have nothing. Right. right. You have no idea. Well, you've been in the hospital recently. Right, I see the bills over hundred thousand. You have no idea what a, you go into a. That's <coughs> why it's under, how do, how do, how do they get these prices? Mm -hmm. Well, you know what happened. I talk about talk about something I don't understand. I'm brought, glad you brought that up. Didn't Obama come up with an idea? Uh, not Obama. Trump come up with an idea, an executive order, in which. The hospitals and the doctors would have to have a, a you know a fee list of. Yeah, that's you exactly. That, that, but that, that's right. happening now. But what about the last? Yeah, but wait a years? second. This is what happened. That's why I brought it up. That's a pretty good idea, isn't it? Excellent. Yeah, that way you can. Well, shop a federal around. judge in New York and Obama point. He said it was He struck it down. 
But that was an executive order. But he struck down the executive order saying that, he can't, that Trump couldn't do that. Oh. Now, you would think that he'd say, this is a really good idea and it helps. Why, why, why would he strike it down? Let me on tell what you. basis? Is it in the best interest of the American people? What's, the really, best go interest what's of really going on in this country right now? It's is, sad. Well, here's, here's what it comes down to. And this is like an uh, unbelievable. The Democratic Party has finally come to the conclusion they cannot beat Donald Trump on an equal playing field. So they are trying to do every single thing possible, dragging up the most ridiculous things possible to try to get this man not to get reelected again, okay? And this is all part of it. I mean, they're talking about Medicare for all. I mean, how can everybody have Medicare? It's already struggling to, to pay for, for my bills and our bills. I think most of us they say Medicare. They say within 15 years, it'll be bankrupt. It's unbelievable. My bills are over $100,000. We have $100, a $25 trillion dollar right. debt that right. started with George right. W. Bush. Right. You know, when George W. Bush took office, there was no real significant yeah. national right. debt. Right. He jacked it up with his forays right. in the Middle East, right? right? He jacked it up about eight trill, right? Yeah. yeah and then yeah, Obama yeah. had a field day. He knocked it up to about 2021. Yeah. And in and, and all fairness, Trump is not doing anything about that debt either. No. They're all talking about Medicare for all. Why, is it, why doesn't somebody say it's impossible? You can't have Medicare for all. It Bernie Sanders finally told the truth. They said to him on, on, on that panel, you know what right. he said to him? If you have Medicare for all. Is it going to raise taxes? And he's, he's right. like pausing. He, like, 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 like a, and then I said, there'll be a raise in taxes. Yeah, sure. You said that everybody's going to be happy to pay it, too. Right. No, yeah, because, they're not. Because they get no, they, they're not, they, they, they have said a trade off. Right. There was a trade off that he said would work. You know what Sanders you know said? Let me just get this in. Okay. San, you know what Sanders said when they were talking about that? These are from my notes. Very important. He said there would be taxes on the middle class. Sanders admitted there will be taxes on the middle class. Yes, but he said that they would they yeah. would be offset by benefits that they would get from a different direction. But, so he was playing games. Right. Now here's the right. funny one. And think about this. Who's rising in the polls? None other than Cochise, right? Right. Or Pocahontas. Christ, Pocahontas. Right. She's rising. You know what she says right off the get-go? She's a smart little gal. Right. Don't dismiss her. She said, I'm a capitalist. No, she's not. No. She co-opted everything that Bernie Sanders believes in, and she's pushing it to the nth degree, except for one thing. She never says anything. She never utters right. the word socialist. Right. Well, she has a plan for everything. All of which is socialist. Well, I have a plan for Pocahontas, and that's retirement from the Senate and retirement from the state of Massachusetts. It's not going to happen. Not going to happen. There are vested interests that like her and want to push for her because I will tell. He thinks that Biden is going to get the nomination. I think Biden. Biden's is gone. imploding. But you may be right. Mm -hmm. He listen. He survived it so he, far. He's leading in the polls. He still does. Would you believe it? And the thing of it is, to be, to be frank with you, she she said to him, and he was stupid the way he answered, he, she said to him, you didn't vote for busing. He should have been proud of the fact that he didn't vote for of busing. Of course, everybody was opposed to it at that time, and the, most, the black community more than anybody else. And because she's sticking it to, oh, please, right. Joe, Joe, right. Joe, right. Joe. Then, then Joe. Let me get complain to, about let me him sniffing a woman's hair. <laughs> yeah. He went over and he sniffed Ocasio's She hair. planned that Smell all like Taco out. Bell. That was <laughs> that, that whole interchange was orchestrated, pre-planned, and they waited for the moment. And he sucking himself into it. That was the part of it. Folks, whatever you do, Beware of going down to Kings Beach. The Limwater Sioux Commission has said that because we had some heavy rains right. and that the sewer system, the drain right. system inter intermingled, that this uh, stuff it's down in Kings Beach, that you shouldn't be going in the yeah. water. Where is right. Kings Beach is where? In, in Swampscott? It goes from, Swamp yeah, it goes from yeah. Mission Bay yeah. all the way to Red Rock. Yeah. yeah. Right. So you can't go swimming in there. That's what they're advising. Yeah. They're Why? saying because the, because the sewage got mixed with the storm drain. How the hell did that happen? Because we had an overload of rainfall over the weekend. They're claiming. Also, I tend to think that there's a little hyperbole here because they want to spend a barrel of money to separate the two, right? What, so, Swamp Scott and Lynn, you mean? S separate Swamp Scott and Lynn? They run together. Yeah, of course they run yeah. together yeah. because his, Swamp Scott. His, his Swamp Scott. Swamp Scott is into the sewerage, the not the water. Sewer right. Commission right. for sewerage. Right. So sewerage, is, it's regional to sewerage. Right. Swamp Scott, Nahant, Saugus, yeah, right. and Lynn. Right. Water is strictly Lynn. Right. Swamp Scott gets their water from the MDC, reservoir. MWRA. Right. So, but apparently what happened was is that the storm drains over, uh, intermingled with the sewerage. Yeah. And when they drained out, you know that big... 
Look like a little river that comes they, down. They, they Would you mind telling me how they're going to take care of that? Two hundred fifty million. No, seriously. Just seriously, two hundred fifty million. Yeah. So for the time being, you can't go swimming there. No. Uh, oh, they're saying this will clear itself. Uh, they're up. advising but you but not they're saying to. Right now. Just beware. That's all. Just and beware. And we give the warning out to folks there. Just beware. Yeah. <laughs> Just beware with your floating yeah. around and, 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 and all this. The, <laughs> biggest storm drains, by the way. Buy. Uh, see, this is, see, this is a simple answer right there. You see how sharp Pedro is? See? Biggest storm drains. You get that? Biggest yeah. storm drains. That's Why it. didn't it, I think of that? You should have thought of that. Lynn Waterfront Master Plan. It's up and running again, if we can throw that up there. Uh, and this is an update. So, there are five points to it. One is called Harbor 98. You all know Harbor 98? That yeah. would be the Port Hope Pub site. Right. right. Then you have North Harbor, which is the Chevy Deacon site, Chevrolet. right? Mm -hmm. Then you have Garlic Farms, the flea market, which, by the way, is owned by McGrath. Yeah. So right. 98, Harbor 98 and flea market are fundamentally one and the same. And then you have the G Gear Works. So Gear works. that is what they're talking about. They're featuring it. So here's the problem. Take a look. Harbor <coughs> 98 needs zoning relief from the city council. Not going to happen. No. Nope. All right. He's not going to build it. Plus, I don't, I, I don't know if they're going to get the money for that. that that's a lot well, of money. Well, that's one. And secondly, he, he wants to test it out to see whether he can pre-sell right. at the prices he needs to sell yeah. it for. Hey, no way in hell he can, can get that kind of money right now the way things are in the city. Are you kidding me? So what's that tell you? That's how many, that, that. So is it going to happen? But look what they did, though. That's what I'm trying to explain to you. They ruined a lot of people's lives by closing that restaurant. I used to know people that worked there. They worked there for 30 years. They put their life on the life of this guy. And look yeah. what they got out of the deal. Well, he, and he, nothing's going to happen Yeah, but he there. was ready to retire. No one was going to take it over. and, 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 and so, so they had a problem. And he, somebody came along with some money to buy it, and he sold it. It's a problem. Not how, but it's happening. Agreed? The Chevy site? The yep. wall is being built. They're doing a lot of work. They're doing a lot of skating. They're doing a lot of the sea But that's not going to be off the ground until uh, 2021, I think. Yeah. Two, that's it, the earliest two years it's be two, two or three years, years If they say line. two or three years, let's talk ten years. <laughs> You're an optimist, yeah, you know yeah, that? Yeah, I'm telling you the a lot truth. of government regulations that'll have to jump through. Please. But your Paul Crowley, bless his soul, yeah. pointed that out. about right. The real right. problem is a lot of these regulations are killing everything. Yeah. Right. So, Garlic Farms... They want a zoning change, and thank God that Starbucks stepped in and yep. said, hey, hold it, because the zoning change that they're looking for, in effect, would turn it into a junkyard. Yeah, mm -hmm. right? you can't blanche right. for anything. Now, Crowley, Paul, how are you? <laughs> Crowley came up with a great idea, I thought, so let me throw it out to you folks out there, because I also came up with a great idea of putting solar panels on the dump site, right? Yep. Paul Crowley said, you know, Garlic Farms... And the way he got, he backed into it. Is it Bentwater? Is that the beer? Brent Water. Yeah. Which was right behind his yeah, It's alley. a micro brewery. Right. And he approached Delicious. the owner and he said, how come you chose to come to Lynn? I mean, he could have gone anywhere. It's because of the water. Right. So, really? Because there's consistency in the water. And when you make beer, you need consistency. It's water. Yep. Water based. Okay. So Paul said, you know, they could do what Gaelic Farms is make bottled water. Make it a, a bottling plant. The thing water is, you have, you have federal but, regulations. Oh, the regulations in bottling water is beyond your wildest imagination. They'll have Harvard 98 done before yeah, you, they get you have regulations to, You have to have that. licenses That's the and first so forth. Plus the fact, the beer company, how much beer do you think they're producing in that place? Next to, very minor. Very minor. Is it true? Very minor. I've, been, I've never even right. heard of them. These microbreweries don't make a lot of money, but it, they make well, enough to make a living. The question is, how much water do they use? Not too much. I mean, Garlic Farm used two million a year. Well, how much? Well, uh, that, that a, was with milk. Of a glass of beer, how much is water? Seventy percent, maybe. Or no, much? you think? I don't know. It's got to be ninety percent water. Mean, you know, water. Tell me, you can tell I mean, me. You, I, you, I, you I just drink it. I just drink it. I'm looking at you. By the way, I hate to tell you, mustache. You're eighty-five percent water. I know. Okay. So. God bless. But. What do you know, a priest? Yes, I am. <laughs> yes, I am. So, Garlic Farms is not going to become a watering plant? You're telling well, me the, the thing is, is you have so many federal regulations, you have to have federal licensing but, uh, to bottle water. Conceptually, conceptually yeah. is that a pretty good idea? Conceptually, it's uh, they don't have enough water here to supply a major factory to do that. It's, it would be a highly competitive business. Yeah. And it's, it's highly competitive yeah. right now. I mean, you got... This company, you've got Poland Springs, you've got you name well, it. I hate to tell you, it just got shut down. Poland Springs is a very interesting company because 
that's that spring must be the size of the Pacific Ocean. That's where Sonny Liston trained for Muhammad Ali. <laughs> oh, yes, that's right. They that's never right. Run out wait of a second. Up there. Wait a second. Now, we have folks in the control room who I'm going to put on this show and throw you guys off because they just sent something up here that made sense to me. The same regulations had to do with milk. They were producing milk. The same regulations that you say that you need for water already existed in producing milk. And, well, they did juices there, too, tomato juice yes, and but you have to understand orange something. juice. And they weren't actually milking cows in there. They, the, the, the milk was coming in from an outside source. They still had a, they still had a <laughs> creamery, whatever they call oh, it. Okay. Yeah, they call it a creamery. A, they were just pasteurizing it. There's, there, there's a there, there. big difference. Uh, Can they make ice cream there? Yeah. yeah. No, I think they pasteurized the milk there, didn't they? <coughs> pasteurized the milk. They pasteurized the milk. Louis Pasteur? Are you talking about the, the fact, Frenchman there? Yeah, Louis Pasteur. Yeah. <laughs> Louis, how are you? Uh, but that, that's a good... By the way, Dave and uh, Brian, I mean, Pedro and Brian out there in the control room, yeah. they know what they're talking yes, about. Yes, they do. That's a Thank very you. good point. Very good point. Next, the flea market. He says, I'm not selling. And if I do anything, it's years away, meaning years it's away. not going to happen. Yep. He's going to sit on it. He wants to put in 550 apartments, but uh, he says it's years away. I don't know why he doesn't build it. There's nothing. Didn't they close all that inside? That's all closed. I have no idea. Oh, that place, yeah, but there used to be a bowling alley. It, it, all star. It, 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 it was oh, it's it's a disgusting alley. in there. Oh, you been there? Yeah, I went. I went in there once. I thought that was a well, was a good place. No, not at all. Yeah, a lot of years place. ago, it was built in 1978. You got people in there that, that are selling stuff that don't speak English. <laughs> <laughs> then across the street from there, by the way. <laughs> Is the gear plant, which is back to General Electric. Right. Yep. Now, now that's, he, an in, now that's an interesting thing. The, 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 that's contingent. Uh, the developer says that that's contingent. What's his name? Patios? Yeah. On? It's, it's contingent upon the, the, the MBTA putting in a new station. Exactly. I mean, they're also going to put a new station in Alston. They just put a new station in Chelsea. They put a station just a couple, three years ago in Salem. How about Lynn Central? We get nothing. We never get anything. But now they're talking about putting, and the MBT has no money anyway. I don't know how they're going to do it. Wait One of the things they're going to have to look at with the If you recall, last week, not last week, two weeks ago on this show, yeah. Joseph S. Yeah. said, you know what? I like you guys monorails. So you guys fought over who was the king of the monorails, you know? Me. You claim I am. It, I'm claim it. I had the idea first. It. Yeah, well, you, you claim it's your idea. He claims it's his. He right. sat there and listened right. to both of you, knowing that right. neither one of you know what you're talking about. So in any case... That's exactly what I thought. <laughs> 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 and we talked about a monorail going yeah. to that flea market site, right? A station, put a station there, use the dump as a parking lot, and do the monorail, which would not violate too many... Because you'd be going on water, right? right? You have a better we, chance of a, the next pole being... A Jewish than getting a monorail here. We're talking about on the okay. commuter line. You know what, what station we're talking about, that GE station that's on the commuter line. That's what we're talking about. Here. Well, what I'm saying to you is you could put a monorail, that gear plant site that you're talking about, right. as flat as a pancake, right. in West Lane. Right. Right. It would not be difficult it's a station to put there a already. station right. there. There's already it not a station. Be just, well, it doesn't just, matter whether there is or there isn't. Yeah. You can build one with ease, yeah. and you can put a monorail there with ease right. to go into Boston. That's right? my whole idea that I came up with like did about you, two years ago. Well, why don't you tell Patios about it? Patios, I'll tell Patios. Well, thing, one of the things that they're going to find out is they have a hazardous waste dump there. The what? A hazardous waste dump on the old G. No so, kidding, with the chromium I mean, and all the It's going to cost them a fortune to strip that land, like they did with the old West Lynn plant. It took them 10 years to steam out all of the hazardous waste before Market Basket could go in. That was the factor of the future. Once yeah. upon a time, once upon a time, in Lynn was a wonderful, wonderful eatery. No longer. Where lobster stuff for lobster could be bought. And, folks, you get a shrimp boat, which was full of fried shrimp, delicious French fried Idaho potatoes with large Hawthorne salad Ooh. for two twenty five. Try getting something for two twenty five today. Yeah. You can't even get a happy no. meal. I mean that place <laughs> there it is. It again, yeah. Well, guess what? It's coming down. And you know, it's kind of a sad story. It's coming down? Yeah. yeah it was going to be, what's good? They're just ripping it down. And yeah. what's was going to take its place? Nothing. It, it, You're asking the wrong guy. It's, it's, contaminated, it it's contaminated. The whole property in behind is contaminated. 
Yeah, because that's, because that's, the, that's the, the old laundry site. The old right? White's uh, laundry site. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So here's the funny thing. Anthony Athanas, who... May he rest in peace. Yes. yes. Everybody thinks he's Greek, but he wasn't. He was Albanian. He was an Albanian, yeah. which means he was half Italian, half Greek. Mm. In any case, he really, uh, seriously, he, he did a great job. He had the General Glovers in. Yeah, and he had on by the sea. And the first one to go down to, to the harbor side, Pier 4. He was the where first one. now the hottest property in the world. All right. So he did a wonderful job, and it's an era goes by. You know, time goes by, and yep. that's it. And in the same vein, guess what? It's Bye Bye Beetle. If we can put that up there. Beetle. Can you imagine that? Production uh, of the oh, VW man. has come to an end. The Beetle got its start in Nazi Germany, by I the way. I think the last one it was started by uh, Adolf Hitler. It week. was. It was right. called Volkswagen means Volkswagen people's, people's car. People's right. people's right. yeah. Yeah. It was a major contributor to Germany's economic resurgence after World War right. II. Yeah, for sure. And... And then became a worldwide icon, and sadly now it's gone. It's a, and we got a little clip. It was a, a great little, little car. It was a great little car. Wait. Es ist die Identität mit etwas. Disney Productions, The Love Bug. Hopefully it will. Those cars would start in the coldest of weathers when I had <laughs> one in my family. The cold, I mean, it could be 50 the degrees below here. zero. It would start up right away. But any, any rain, and any, any, even a cloudy day would not start. Well, the British cars were like that, too. Yeah. You know, they, <laughs> you know in, in, in light fashion, but we lost an icon in the car business. And Lee Iacocca Lee passed Iacocca, away, right? Yes. He, was, yeah. he uh, came up with the uh, Mustang. He, not right. only that, but he took Chrysler out of bankruptcy. Out of bankruptcy. Oh, bankruptcy. Single-handedly. He almost ran for president. Remember the time yeah, he was very popular? Yeah, 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 Did he yeah. come up with the K car, the, the certain right. type of frame right. or whatever? But he was a visionary. Yeah. Right, right. And we also lost Ross a Perot. Ross Perot. Uh, right. Who got, I think, 18 million votes, I think. I voted yeah. for Ross Perot. Anybody that can borrow $1,500 from their mother-in-law and turn it into a billion, <laughs> I'm going to vote Do you for. realize that Ross Perot and his will willed $100 million to us the re-election of Donald Trump? You're kidding. You're kidding. One hundred million. You know the funny thing. If you take a look at Ross Perot, he got he nearly twenty percent of the vote. Yeah, right. he did. And if it wasn't for Ross Perot, Bill Clinton would have never became president that, of the United that's States. Exactly true. He knocked and Bush out, right? Bush, right? Yeah. He knocked Bush out Bush of the out. box. Yes, he did. Not only that, folks. Bill Clinton. Everybody wants to talk about how popular he was. He never got fifty percent of the vote in any of his elections. That's right. I always president. liked Ross Perot's voodoo stick. <laughs> Bill Clinton now is being attached to Mr. Epstein. Yeah, oh, Jeff, yes. Yeah. He should be. He, flew on, he was flying on the plane like a freaking flyer. But oh, now they're the, saying that he, not very often. <laughs> Anytime, he really truly. He's not very 56 often. 56 entries. Yeah. How many? 56 entries in the and log. He, and he, then he ditched, he ditched his uh, he Secret out. Service and a whole bunch of them, didn't yeah. he? Yeah. We'll he find out the, more uh, about that. Lolita That's flights. It. So, in the similar vein... Another great tragedy, even though I spelt it wrong, the sport of kings, no more. So times are changing, so it shouldn't be sort of kings, it's the sport of kings. 
Suffolk Downs had its last race. I, I was there the last Sunday. I, I put a $2 bet on the last race, the, the number 10 horse, the, the last post position number on the last race of the last day. And I, ha I, have that, I have that ticket. I don't, know if, I don't know if it won or not. I don't care. And it and finished I, in the last place. Did it finish a lot? Of awesome. it. it doesn't make any difference. But, but that'd be worth millions of dollars someday on eBay. Well, if you take a look, maybe you can see Ralph on this clip. <laughs> this is my job, and I accept it as my job and my life and my love. This is my passion. But it's sad to have this be the last day, if that's what you're asking, to yeah. not get up and come to Boston. Like I said, I'm going to miss all my friends. Will you move? My family. Yes. To where? We're not sure yet. Wherever. Like I said, we got to sit down tonight and put in the next couple weeks and decide where we're going to go. Right. What's best for us and the family. Someplace where I will ride. You say it's a job, but you don't have a job like most people have jobs. This is a job. It's a very hard job. It's basically, it's it's kind of like living the life of a carnival. You know, you go from here to there, back to here, over there. You move a lot. Yeah. The gypsy life. Unless you want to go to a racetrack that runs year-round. Yeah, this you... used to run year-round. And then it, we did a circuit between here and New Hampshire, and then it ended up just here, and now we're, uh, we're finished. Yeah. You know, I was surprised the last day. Did you any anybody here go? Uh, the last no. few days. It was all the families coming in. It was unbelievable, uh, and uh, I, I just I just missed a trifecta by about a few inches, and uh, I missed several hundred dollars. I was going a little nuts, so I had to go. I said I have to go. But as I was going around two thirty, that was about two thirty, and the people coming in, I couldn't believe the family with the kids coming in. Of all the yeah. time with their Unbelievable, families. yeah. Well, now that it's closing, what's going to take its place? Nothing. Nothing. They're knocking you know, down. I guess the that's the question I wanted to ask. Yeah. I mean, have, I, I noticed that the All Star game had its lowest rating in years, right? Yep. Uh, yep. Basketball is on its way out, right? Professional basketball yep. is not doing well. Uh, it seems that there's a shift taking place in sports and activities that you Originally, own. they wanted to put a casino there. And they Suffolk wanted Downs, to originally, yeah. and ended up going to it's called, uh, Encore now, yeah. right? And what Never. about the uh, Wonderland dog track? No, that's long gone. Oh, that's that's long gone. Okay. okay, but what's going to take its place? Well, nothing. I don't know what's going to take the... Yeah. You, 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 Wonderland, nothing's taking its place. It's a parking lot. Yeah. Are the people who run, run uh, Suffolk Downs, run the racing, they said that they might, they might put a, a new... Uh, 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 Bet, betting power in there where you play the out-of-state tracks. Oh. People don't bet anymore. They don't gamble as much as they used to. No. You know that. But Number two, you have you have all of these organizations that, you know, the dog racing right. business went out because they claimed that the Cruel dog owners were, right. yeah. were right. you know, right. were yeah. abusing the dogs. Right. The same right. with horses, right? So you have all right. of these folks screaming right. and yelling right. about you know, taking advantage right. of animals right. and the rest of it. So right. times are changing. The mores right. have changed but, radically. But Suffolk is still open, you know, for off-track betting. It's still open. Because you know. there are tracks in other parts of the country. Right, yeah. right. But they're soon to go by the boards. I don't yeah. know. Uh, yeah. Oh, I don't think, I, I, I think times are changing so radically, there's it's, no turning it, back. It's new people now. Exactly, with different not, attitudes. It's not their cup of tea. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, it's video games. Uh, in fact, nobody's dating anymore, are they? Nobody dates. Girls, remember we went through this about I don't know, a few months ago. Girl, I, I see girls now with dogs. I don't see them with boys or guys. I don't see them. They're with dogs. Hey, wait a minute. I got a dog myself. <laughs> and I'm with my well, dog all the time. And I'm a guy. I say a lie. We don't know what, what we, think, well, we'll so, we think so. Yeah. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? Now, this is happening literally in Colombia. There's a bishop who's going to take to the skies to exercise the entire Colombian city. And he's getting the help from the Colombian government. They're giving him a helicopter, and he's got big tanks of holy water, and he's going to chuck it on the city to drive out the demons. Would you believe that one? Uh, I, 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 I don't think that's a quite I, I think they, I think they can save the money on the helicopter, have yeah. the bishop smoke a blunt, what if it and works? then he can But what if it works? Water. Should we drop some in Chicago, maybe? <laughs> or what? I mean...
You know, they should drop a lot of water on that. It looks pretty dirty to me. <laughs> oh, that That's is one rough country. Oh, God. In Kansas City, a woman was at the Department of Motor Vehicles in line. Got a little upset because the line wasn't moving fast enough. Pulled out a gun and started blasting away. How do you like that one? I don't know if it worked. She got the front of the line. I know she got arrested. I don't know if there's more mental illness today or, or, or people just aren't, aren't, people that should be, that had, had been put into mental institutions aren't there anymore. I think, I think a lot of it's that. I, I don't know what it is really. But maybe it has to do with drugs. The people are just losing it. Their minds are being destroyed. She had a gun. Yeah, oh, but well, a woman, was she doing woman a gun? don't do that. Women don't usually shoot in pub, shoot other people in public. Apparently, that's not the case. They were just this woman did. Very unusual. And, uh, you know, you and your women. <laughs> here's a guy that like women, not women. Let me restate that. Here's here's a guy that like children. Jeffrey Epstein, after serving time for sex trafficking minors, mind you, Jeffrey Epstein hosted a dinner party. Among the guests were Kathy. Kathy Couric, Katie Couric, Charlie, yeah, you got it right, that's, you're right, I'm wrong, Charlie Rose, Woody Allen, Chelsea Handler, and George Stephanopoulos. Doesn't that speak volumes? Stephanopoulos has been on the Clinton payroll for years. Right. He's a big Democratic operative, now he's on TV. On M M CNN? Or Guys, you're CNN. missing the point. What? This guy was a child Predator. Right. He, yeah. he brought these 12, 13, 14 year old okay. girls. He down was to convicted. Right. He was a level, the right. highest level he can be, registered right. sexual predator, right? I believe it's And level he three. has a dinner party at his home, and these celebrities go there. He was also interacted with the Hollywood crowd mm -hmm. as if nothing happened. Remember right. Roman Polanski? Right. Right. I mean, yep. this guy makes Roman Polanski look like a pope. And he, he had an island where he's bringing all these girls. What, about the, what about the judge who's now the secretary of L labor who got him off the hook? Wait, now think, now let's restructure that. The secretary of labor, Acosta, Acosta was the U.S. attorney in Miami yeah, yeah. in 2008. He can't make the final decision. He's instructed. The final decision came from, now, this is the allegation. You can check it out for yourself, folks. Apparently, or supposedly, well, allegedly, the FBI, and the director of the FBI at that time was none other than... Call me. Bob Mueller. Mueller. Bob, oh, Mueller. Bob Mueller, 208. His underling, his first lieutenant, was James Comey. Right. Okay? It's interesting, my friend. Anyways... He, Mueller, told Acosta to risk layoff of Jeffrey Epstein because Jeffrey Epstein was a cooperating witness, uh, an asset, to bring down Bear Stearns. They were interested in bringing down Bear Stearns. Now, nobody understands Jeffrey Epstein worked for Bear Stearns before he spun off and went into business for himself. By the way, nobody knows how he made his money. That's another baffling thing. How, well, where is he getting all his money from? How did this all happen? I think they were Very hedge, unusual. They say they were hedge funds, but I don't, I don't know. I don't yeah, know well, he, you know, he's flying around with a ton of money. The point being is that he was, Acosta, was directed not to put the rockets to him because he was being used by the FBI to go after Bear Stearns. Now, that's the scenario. So he had several rape convictions against him, basically. He was facing several rape convictions. Was convicted. I think he was convicted. You know what he was? But he, he did time served. That's he, all he did. He was sentenced to one year in jail, but he was allowed to 18, leave every, 12 hours a day. Time every day. Right, right. Oh. But it goes worse than that. If you take a look at what's happening in, that's the Southern New York District there, whatever they call it, right? Southern, Who do you think is one of the prosecutors? Uh, Mueller. Mueller, was he? No. No, no, no. Comey's Comey. daughter. Comey's daughter, right. So you have Comey who was second in command at the Department of, uh, at uh, the FBI at right. that time. You have Bob Mueller. And who was Bob Mueller close to? And what was happening in 208, folks? Hillary Clinton was running against Barack Obama. Right. All right. Do you think that that stuff came out that her husband, Bill Clinton, was a freaking flyer on the Lolita Express? Right. You think, how do you think that would have worked? They would have destroyed, it would have destroyed huh? it. Oh, they, they, uh, that would have made the Access Hollywood tape look like nothing. Right? Yeah, they put the squash on that. Right. So there's a lot of intrigue here. And I'm going I'm to I'm come up with one of my 
conspiracy theories. This is pretty well-known stuff with the inner circles. Not us, but, you know, the inner circles know what's happening. They know what's happening with Howie Weinstein and all these guys, right? You know, they're all playing together. So, why is it that all of a sudden, Jeffrey Epstein surfaces again? Who's the beneficiary of that? Think about it. Well, they were, they were trying to go after, after uh, uh, Trump's secretary of, of labor. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. But oh, yeah that's I think so. Irrelevant. No, no. That's small fish. Why is this coming out now? Who's it to damage? Who stands to get hurt the most? I, 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 I the don't enemies know. of Tr Donald Trump, actually. What, you mean the people in New York that knew him? Maybe. The people who are opposed to Donald Trump. The deep state people that have, that, that want, I mean, Charlie Rose, right. George Stephanopoulos. Right. This guy, he was, in, he was locked in solid with Hollywood. Charlie Rose was convicted of the same thing himself. Exactly. That's they took him off They're the birds air. of a feather. Woody uh, Allen was convicted exactly. of the same thing. That, that's the point. So After that thing with Woody, I was one of his biggest fans next to his parents. After that scenario about 15 years ago, I never wanted to see another movie of his ever, ever again. But the point being is that you have to wonder why... Jeffrey Epstein has resurfaced again. You know, and you can argue that he's got under double jeopardy, you know, the legal okay. argument. Right. But I'm saying to you, I think that this happens to be putting a little pressure on somebody who's going to be testifying next week. Mueller. Yeah, Bobby Mueller. You don't get my yeah. point? Mueller. It's, I think it's like a warning shot. I think it's a warning shot for those people that want to do Trump harm. Right. Why all of a sudden has Trump numbers gone up so significantly? You know, after the Democratic debate, Trump's numbers went up. Yep. So you could argue that he won the debate. Not only that, but to show you how powerful he is, the little simplest thing happened just yesterday. You know what happened yesterday? No. The chief of the Federal Reserve, okay? Dropped the interest yep. rate. He dropped the interest rates. Because Trump told him, didn't tell him, I don't know whether he called him on the phone, but he said publicly, you should be fired. You're ruining the country. And basically speaking, Trump is not wrong. That goes to show you that Donald Trump is really knowing what he's doing, but he's, he, the fact of the matter is he's not a well-liked guy. No. Okay. But what, the question is, why is it that, why is he not a well-liked guy? Why is Jeffrey Epstein a well-liked guy? You I mean, that baffles me. I mean, that, that blows my mind. Jeffrey Epstein is a pawn, okay? He just happens to be a multi-billionaire, but he's a pawn between two people going down the toilet, okay? Uh, and yeah. Jeffrey's going along with them. He's, he's, he's a disgraced man. Of course. Yeah. But he wasn't. They still chump with him. It's in, I think he went to the Oscars in 2016, didn't he? I, this, I don't know, but let me say this to you. They, they, they chum with him. No one brags about their hanging out with him. Apparently they did. No, well, I Not don't know. Not anymore, they With these new, these new charges against him, this is why it all came up. Well, look, York. they're coming out no? of the woodwork now. There's no new charges. I thought there were new charges. Yeah, no, there's, there's, there are no new charges. This is resurrection. Okay, the but there's is, a lot of girls. If he starts singing like a, a songbird, I what guarantee they're saying, you. That the what they're saying is, is that he was never prosecuted by the federal he was prosecuted right. Uh, right. By, the by the state. state. By the state. So right. now the Fed is stepping in. Oh, They're saying is, that right. the, the, the concept of federalism has, has been spun around. Let me say this to you right now. With all of his money, Jeffrey Epstein is not having a good time right, right now. No but kidding. How, how is this federal government stepping in? The statute of limitations must have run no, on this. No, not, 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 not on rape. Not, not on rape. Right. Not so, with rape. So what is the, what, that's this not is, rape. That's his, minor rape. His, his yeah. lawyers are going to argue. Otherwise, so I right. mean, I, you know, I didn't go to Harvard Law School like somebody I know, uh, but that's beside the point. Look, that's not it's beside a, the point, okay? But that's neither here nor there. Jeffrey is going to be singing like a bird. He's, that, that, of course, that, he's going to sing. If he maybe. starts oh, singing yeah. like a songbird, I guarantee you the Clinton cartel will have him murdered. Wait a minute. You know something? I would, I would not be shocked I if, if this guy, like, either overdoses on some kind of yep. medication find or out. something. They'll take care of him. Wait a, a second. Suicide. You hit the. Uh, he also, Jeffrey Epstein also is credited with having put together the Clinton Global Foundation. He was the guy that did the right. mechanics sort of Well, that's what, the, that's, that's, why what he does. that's why Clinton is saying, I only went with him because he was helping my foundation. Did he say that? Yeah. yeah. Yes. yes. So Clinton has admitted to that. Yes. Right. Well, they've, yeah. got, they've got him on 56 plane times. logs going to that Lolita uh, uh, island. 
They've got, a, got them flying down there with no Secret Service. No ex-president goes flies anywhere with, without ex-secret with, with We have a Secret few Service. minutes left. Uh, you oh, wow. had an interesting story. Apparently, you went into Whole Foods. I was in Whole Foods, minding my own business, having a nice time because I love the store. And a woman starts pointing the finger at me, and I'm getting, I thought maybe she's pointing at somebody else. She says to me, it's you, it's you, I know you. You're on that show, you're the Jewish kid, and you're a fool. Whoa. I says, excuse me? She says to me, your family were in concentration camps, and yet you want to incarcerate Im illegal I immigrants? I said, lady, are you for real? There's, that's, that's not even in the same ballpark. Well, the Nazis came to your door, you had no choice in the matter. These people have a choice. And she's saying, don't tell me they have it. They have no choice. You're a fool. And I'll tell you, my night, you're a Jewish kid. You should know better. And I said, lady, I have one word. For you. Can I just say one thing? She says, what? <laughs> <laughs> People know how, how I'm conservative. And I, I, almost everybody I know is liberal. But no one ever gives me a hard time about the show for some reason. I don't know why. You know, we're, we're not here about, we're trying to deal a little bit with truth and reality. Well, I mean, get people to know, think. I mean, look. I, I just there are things that how... Donald Trump does that right. really yeah, right. embarrass right. me. Right. Uh, I, you know, there's some crude, there's a crude element about him. Right. Yeah. I put things in a different context. But he's, no one is saying he's a nice, sweet man. He's not a nice, sweet man. It, it, it's a irrelevant. Man. He's running the country. Exactly. It's okay. Right. It's okay. We're he, doing better now than before he came. You know. You can't run a country with a saint. <laughs> but you, you listen to these Democrats. If they, if they, they, if, if any of those programs ever got in, they, they could bankrupt the country and destroy the country. Bankrupt actually. it? Yeah. They'll destroy it. They talk about getting rid of all the health care. The, 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 you know, the, it's, it's unbelievable. Why is California, first they're having forest fires, yeah. now they're having earthquakes. Yeah. What's going on in California? Well, well, if you believe in God, God is sending a telegram. <laughs> That's exactly the God does not like California. I don't think so. Okay. Mm. You know? Maybe so, I get that bishop from Bolivia. He could uh, start sprinkling holy water there. there. Sprinkle yeah. Yeah. Hey, you know, wait a minute. we got two minutes. Let me do this quickly. In Texas, in the city of Austin, they just decided to allow people to sleep anywhere. Put their tents anywhere. Right. Parks here, there, and everywhere. Can you believe this one? And, you know, and the governor is saying, oh, no, you can't do it. And they're trying to fight the governor who says, you know, they say he's being inhumane or whatever. I think Boy, Austin is very democratic, city, oh, if city? I believe. Well, Austin is like Austin's Cambridge. Right, right, thing. right. University. It's basically a tent city. Right. Last note, a minute to go. This is for you guys. 300,000 illegal will be going to our school systems this year. 300,000 additional. Mm -hmm. At $15,000 a whack, that's $45 billion. Has anybody ever thought about that? And Lynn is going to get its share, folks. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about it. That school budget that's is guaranteed. going to go up pretty right. significantly because of 300000 illegals mm -hmm. going into our school system come this school year, and a number of them right. are going to come to Lynn. And how about the strain on the health care? A number of them, a big number of how them. How about the strain on the health care system when all these people have to go, go through the emergency room, and now we don't even have Lynn to go through, they have to go through Salem. And that's a wrap. That's all, folks.